Welcome. Today, I invite you behind the scenes of one of the most specialized military maintenance facilities in the United States, a place few ever get to see. Here, advanced engineering and disciplined craftsmanship come together. Every vehicle that enters this hall, this M142 HIMARS is being prepared for a complete teardown and rebuild, a process designed to restore its strength. Every component, from its electronics to its hydraulic systems, is inspected with absolute precision. Not dangerous, Jeffrey and Ordoliff. This factory doesn't just repair machines, Gil. It engineers every reading, every in readiness. And when this process is complete, the HIMARS emerges renewed, stronger, sharper, and ready for any mission. The HIMARS begins a complete disassembly cycle. Every major system will be analyzed for structural integrity and operational readiness. Separating electronic pathways prevents feedback damage. Precision isolation ensures a safe pod removal procedure. The elevation system is removed with calibrated pressure release. Each hydraulic element will undergo isolated stress and integrity testing. Cab disassembly grants access to protected control zones. These areas contain mission-critical wiring and crew safety systems. With the cab removed, the HIMARS reveals its full structural backbone, enabling deeper access to power, steering, and control networks. Hydraulic components endure extreme battlefield stress. Each segment is inspected to guarantee stable pressure delivery under combat loads. The vehicle is now reduced to its essential frame. Drivetrain extraction initiates the deepest tier of HIMARS mechanical teardown. The HIMARS power pack is removed as a unified module. This enables deep inspection of core drivetrain components. Suspension removal exposes critical braking and sensor systems. These components now move into precision overhaul. The braking system is fully disassembled for service. Heat stress and kinetic load marks reveal battlefield wear characteristics.
Rotor deformation can jeopardize braking stability. Precision mapping ensures every disc meets operational combat standards. Brake control modules determine stopping accuracy under combat loads. Each unit undergoes recalibration to restore military-grade responsiveness. Pneumatic reservoirs endure heavy load cycles. Each tank is validated to maintain pressure integrity across extreme battlefield conditions. Power conversion units regulate all electronic subsystems. Each module is tested to ensure signal purity and battlefield reliability. Electrical shielding is crucial in modern combat zones. Every cable must resist interference and maintain flawless command transmission. The vehicle's command pathways are exposed for inspection. Every signal line must meet flawless conduction standards. Secure communication modules require absolute reliability. These tests confirm resilience against interference and battlefield stress. NBC sealing protects the crew from chemical and biological threats. Every seal must withstand battlefield contamination levels. Cabin climate control must perform flawlessly under extreme heat. ECU validation ensures thermal protection for both crew and electronics. Rebuilt EMI filters protect command signals from electronic warfare. Every module is tuned to maintain clean power delivery under combat stress. Reattaching the control systems restores the mechanical foundation for driver and fire control operations. Precision here ensures seamless command flow. The safety arming system governs all launch permissions. Its reintegration ensures every fire command is validated through protected circuits. The FCS undergoes mission data validation. 
Every command packet must authenticate flawlessly before the launcher is reassembled. Precision servo integration is essential. In this factory, each module is tuned to military accuracy standards before launcher activation. This controlled movement test verifies mechanical readiness. Every motion must respond cleanly before live fire control evaluation begins. Launcher pod reintegration restores the HIMARS firing architecture. Every bolt and bracket must achieve perfect alignment for combat readiness. With the launcher mounted, motion trials confirm the mechanical harmony between elevation, rotation, and hydraulic systems. The fire control system undergoes full integration testing. Every signal must authenticate cleanly through safeguarded military channels. This final simulation confirms the integrity of the HIMARS launch network. Only after flawless performance can mobility testing begin. Steering calibration ensures battlefield maneuverability. Each adjustment refines the HIMARS handling profile for mission accuracy. Vibration testing validates structural stability. Proper damping ensures electronics, crew, and weapon systems remain protected under real combat motion. Cabin pressure testing confirms crew protection capability. These seals ensure survivability in contaminated environments. Full system simulation ensures operational harmony. Only after passing this phase can the HIMARS proceed to final certification. Launch network verification ensures every digital command reaches its destination accurately. Faultless communication is mandatory for combat deployment. Final inspection certifies the HIMARS at mission ready. Every repaired system must meet strict military standards before release. System synchronization ensures unified response across all vehicle networks. The HIMARS must behave as a single cohesive system before release.
Certification marks the end of the renewal process. This HIMARS is now fully mission ready and prepared to return to active duty.